YouTube, what's up? This is Dan Permaculture. All right, in this video, we're gonna be talking about this plant here. I, I can give you a closer look. This is pigeon peas. All right, if you live in the in a Caribbean or you live in South America or Central America, you're gonna be extremely familiar with pigeon peas because it's like a staple food food you know food source you know that even in india too is a staple food source in most of that part of the world and that's what we're going to be talking about so let's get into the video and get some more details about this amazing food source pigeon peas and a lot of people are going to ask, oh, they didn't know that peas actually grow on a tree. Yeah, this is a legume that grow on a tree. Uh, this tree is actually about mm, 15, 20 feet tall. Yeah, and even bigger. Let's go over to an even bigger one. Look at this, guys. I, I stand right here and show you that. That is a pigeon pea, pea tree. Look how big it is. How big the, 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 the trunk actually gets. And this is this is you know all over the food forest. I have a few of these trees this size and produce mass amount of food. Look at the amount of peas right here. And this is all over. Look, look here. That's peas is everywhere. Yeah, so yes, it, it is a <laughs> tree that produces pods pigeon peas is actually a staple crop guys yeah it's high in protein and that's one of the reasons i grow it that's one of the reasons i grow it there's numerous other reasons why i grow it and we'll get into that as we go along so the, the peas itself could be yeah let's let's pick the peas itself and show you guys all right, let's, let me, I'm gonna pick but the, the green. The peas can be eaten green or it could eaten dry. Both ways are extremely good. So let me find find some dry pea and the, 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 the green pea. Let's open it and show you what they look like, all right? All right guys, so what we're gonna be is looking at the different stage of the pigeon pea. All right, I'll show you something right here. This is the flower that blooms. Then it turn into this size pod. This is still not ready yet. The, the pea in here is not even fully formed yet. Then it reaches to this stage, but this is still not even formed properly. Let's open it and I'll show you what it looks like. So these are the young, young pods, not ready yet. But then it's gonna reach to this stage where let's open this and show you what it looks like. You see the size of the pod? Compare, look, let's look at this. You see that? Just like any pea, you wait till the pods get a good size before they're edible. So, let's open this, the green pod, and you see the pea. And this is, let's get it there. This is what a pea look like. And this All right, here are some different stages of a pigeon pea. I normally leave them on the tree until they become extremely dry because I could preserve them longer. You know, I could store these peas up to two, two years. Yeah, even longer than that. Yeah, I think I have some in there that store even longer than that. Yeah, so these are the dry pea. You see these have a different, these are very have these dark colors on it. That's just a different variety. If you look at this, but they all taste the same way. Different variety. If you look right here, look. See this one? Look at the difference. Alright, look at the if you and you could harvest it this way as well. When it's green. So you see you have all these options, and that's why it's such a great crop to, to, to grow, look. Yeah, 
So you see the pods here? This is another variety. Look, let's open it and show you. The harvest is again when it's at this stage. Yep. And in the, in the Caribbean, they harvest it all three ways and add it to soups, rice and peas. Yeah, and, and uh, other dishes. Yep. I'll open more and show you. Yep. So you could uh, harvest it just like this. I know you could see, or you could let it dry. A long term use, and you know, I do that. I leave it on the tree a lot of times, just you know, for a while when it dries. I just go with a bag, and me and the kids they all help me just harvest harvest the the, the, the pods. It's a little bit the, the, the part about this, what I don't like is the shelling of the pea, you know, that's not the fun part, but the fun part is how oh, great it actually tastes. You know, so you see that color? And this is other variety. Yep. Yeah, those two variety. So you see all 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 ways you could harvest and this is how it looks. Yep. Let me bring on the camera a little bit closer. So it give you guys a better look. Yeah, so the different ways to harvest the pigeon peas, all right? One of the questions I know a lot of you guys are going to ask who live in colder climates is, can I grow pigeon peas in colder temperatures? The answer is yes. The whole point is you need to start the pigeon peas early, meaning you start, plant, you start it indoor. So by the time it comes out, you know, six to eight months, you're gonna be getting production from the, 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 the pigeon pea tree. And you have to grow it as an annual. It, it, you know, it's a perennial in subtropical, warmer temperature. It could take a bit of frost, meaning 35 degrees for a few days, but it can't take snow and it can't take 20 something degrees. It can take 30 something, low 30s. Cause we have experienced that here a lot in Central Florida. So that's the answer to that question. Get your pigeon peas started extremely early in your greenhouse, wherever it is, versatile plant. If you grow it and you didn't get no food from it, you use it as chop and drop, use it as fertilizer. So you have, you have multiple uses right here, all right? So that's it for my up north cooler temperatures yeah the plant's actually day length sensitive you know so once the days are shorter is when we start getting you know it producing start producing flowers and everything like that another thing these bees the, it, the pollinators love it right now i'm standing here and they're just buzzing around me as well so i hope you found this video informative about pigeon peas, a great permaculture plant to actually grow in the garden. So thank you so much for watching. One love, have a great week.